I think you have to compare them against their teammates and compare them against their league. Obviously, Caulfield's kind of blown both away this year. He was kind of an Esposito type player. He was methodical, uh, would be in the right spots. Um, didn't, from my memory anyway, have an overpowering shot, but really, really, really a smart player. The guy that had the overpowering shot was uh, Murray Heatley. Um, he was the best sniper on our team. He was uh, lucky enough to have a center, Bob Poffenroth, but uh, he also scored the next year after Poffy left. Uh, Davey Herbst practiced a lot like Cole Caulfield does. Like a lot of shooters just shoot to get their puck on the net. But Davey Herbst and Cole Caulfield actually practiced to bang the pipes before it went in with their head up. Norwich, I found, had two shots. He either went straight up to the top or through your legs. He was almost like he almost he was almost a, a Tamo Solani type of uh, goal scorer, and that's because that's what Tamo did. Tamo had three shots. He would he would go over your over your catching plan, through your legs, or or deke and backhand it up. He had th went three places, and Norwich was the same thing in which when he, he didn't get obviously as many chances because he was uh, being a defenseman. But he has, he didn't shoot it hard, but he, he was deadly accurate. And, that, and Eves was the same way. I mean, he just, they didn't shoot as, um, they didn't have as the velocity of the shot, but they were so good in close and, and their accuracy was so good. Now, Mike did not have a hard shot, but Mike, Mike was smart. And so he knew, like when I was with the Oilers for a cup of coffee, um, I practiced with Gretzky and Messier. Gretzky didn't have a hard shot but he knew which foot you had your weight on and that one you couldn't move and he would blow it he, he'd always he would the easiest save is when a guy puts his hand down his head down comes down the wing and the goalie comes out it's an easy save but the hardest save is is when a guy comes across the ice and someone has to, and the goalie, goaltender has to move and so as, as the goalie moves he's putting his weight somewhere and it's really smart guys like mike eves knew that and so he scored a lot of goals basically on accuracy and just smart. He outsmarted the goaltender. Mark had the uncanny ability to, to shoot bullets right along the ice. And that was, I think, his biggest weapon back then was just how hard he could shoot because he, he really had one of those uh, dynamically hard shots, but he had the ability to either go right up top or put it right down below, right on the ice. And I mean, again, it wasn't six inches off. It was right on. And so if he faced a goalie who went down, uh, who, who stood up, he kept it right on the ice. And it was almost impossible because the goalies were moving across and he put it right right on the ice. Caulfield reminds me a lot of Mark because Mark was able to shoot the puck incredibly fast off the pass. And he had that snapshot too. I want to say the hardest player to stop my whole time in practice was Coach Johnson. He would come down, he would raise his stick halfway and then wait and then just let it go. And it would be off the post, but never hard. Um, and he lightened up on me like he wouldn't do it much on Thursday or Fridays, but early in the week, he just the whole time, all four years could never figure him out. Or one of the heaviest shot was uh, a guy, Sean Hill. He had a real heavy clapper, you know, he, I think he invented the clapper. He'd probably tell you that for sure. But, uh, um, you know, he's a guy that comes to mind with the heaviest shot. Um, quick snapshots or shooting off the pass, uh, you know, Gary Shuchuk, Chris Tansel. Uh, you know, Tank, we would, uh, at the end of practice, we would just, uh, you know, Bill Howard would have us out there and, and he'd always have Tank and, and uh, Shuey and uh, a couple other guys just, you know, snap, shooting the puck, shooting the puck. And those guys could could really snipe it. Probably the hardest shot that that I faced, uh, you know, in my senior year, we had a kid by the name of Jason Zent. And uh, Zenner, uh, man, he could really, he had that snap shot and it was as hard as anybody's slap shot, that's for sure. And in, in terms of heavy, it was Eric Ragor. Um, he, my first practice, he said, uh, I'm Eric and I'm going to hit you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and I think other people on this call know, like he had a heavy, 
heavy shot. I remember one practice with Bill Howard and um, there were people staying around after practice to watch and uh, people that I wanted to impress. And I think Heatley went nine for 10, each of them off the post, like from the slot, no chance. I guess we like to call him Bam Bam, you know, kind of in honor of, of Boom Boom Jeffrey on, which was, you know, uh, a part of the the uh, invention of the slap shot. And that was something that was definitely in, in Blake's repertoire. I think he loved coming down the wing and, and letting one rip. And you know, if it went in, it was great. But if it missed, it would wrap around the boards and come all the way back down. I think that was something that, that Eber you know, wasn't necessarily fond of. But when he put it in, it was uh, it, it was always great to see.